Hey gents, today we're going to talk about ribbed tea. It's been about six months and I've been able to give a very nice field test on their boxers, but also this is the first undershirt that I've tried that doesn't drive me crazy. Not only because, you know, it's moisture wicking and temperature regulating, but you, but you can see it in here. You can't see, I think that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when I see guys in dress shirts and then they have like a big thick cotton t-shirt underneath and you can see the sleeves over here or you can see the uh, thing but you know when this is buttoned up it's not too bad so rib tea six month update let's get into let's start with the underwear so for the g3 underwear i have two pairs i have a gray and a red which i'm wearing right now and both of these have gone through the wash about a dozen times and i have to say that after the last six months of wearing them well the way that i rotate my underwear is you know, I wash them, fold them, and then I'll put them, you know, I basically rotate and say like whatever was washed last gets worn first and so I have a pretty good cycle on these, but it helps me to cycle through brands very quickly and some underwear in particular I get like excited about when it comes up and then stuff like the obviously underwear that you saw in my other one or my Aussie bum stuff, like sometimes I just shove it off to the side, but things like the rib tee, when these would come up, I'd be like, oh great, I get to wear these again. I was hesitant initially on the design of the waistband because there is none, it's just this like thinner line, but with this this does is not only does it not squeeze my waist in like on some of my Mac Weldon stuff the waistband's a little bit thick but it'll give you kind of that almost a muffin top look and I'm very sensitive about my, my love handles uh, but it also doesn't have any rolling to it and so it was weird at first but now I've come to really appreciate it the cool nylon the material it's using these not only very stretchy but it is extremely good with moisture wicking and it's one of my favorite pairs of underwear to wear to the gym and then the way that the bottom is designed in the legs also it has no rolling to it and so this out of all the underwear that I wear probably has the least adjustment to it as I wear it through the day and it's also some of the most comfortable and cool to wear in any situation. What also puts this in a very recommendable category as well is the way that it's held up over washing. So I I couldn't can't really tell by looking at the fabric that these have been washed a dozen times. The way that I take care of almost all of my underwear is I wash it on cold and I typically line dry it or I'll just do a no heat tumble dry for like an hour and a half in my dryer. And this is one pair that the integrity, the, the fabric integrity of the waistband of the overall garment stay, has stayed so well intact which is the reason that it's a $30 pair of underwear because this is going to last a while, it's gonna be extremely cool, and you know, if I'm building out an underwear collection, these are very high up on the list of the underwear that I wanna have in my rotation. So those are all the great things about it. The two things that these don't really have that I'm used to in underwear is number one, there's no separated pouch system. The pouch design leaves plenty of room for the things that you need. It doesn't have a separated pouch, which to, you know, I have enough pairs of those. I think it's an okay feature, but definitely not necessary. It also doesn't have a fly, which, eh, it's like some of my underwear has an H fly, some of it has a standard fly, but really it's like the waistband is so um, elastic and so easy to move that I really don't have a problem unzipping and getting access whenever I need it. And so the fly is definitely not a deal breaker. And then the waistband on this, again, I kind of prefer this to some of the traditional waistbands. So that is the Rib T G3 Boxer Brief. Huge fan of these so far. And now let's talk about the undershirt. So the undershirt, also a premium material which has held up well underneath all of the washing, wearing, and especially because I don't like standard t-shirts that will collect sweat and odor as you wear them, which others do. And this will also save your dress shirts. So that's part of what an undershirt is an investment in is to also save your dress shirts from the fibers getting destroyed and ruined as you sweat in them, especially in the armpits. But the Evo tensile fabric is like so soft. It's also really thin. You know, some cotton t-shirts that are thin don't always have performance related to them. And so I've been very impressed with this one so far. I also like that you can get it in like a deep V. So I do pretty well with the crew neck, you know, where most of my dress shirts sit, but I also have a deep V one, which is really nice. And also the fact that the seams are very minimal, very low profile, helps to keep that silhouette looking really good when you're in your dress shirt. And so for $32, it's a premium shirt, but it's one of those things that's like, if I could have two of these shirts versus, uh, you know, three 10 pack or three five packs of the Hanes, it's like that's the trade off that you're making. Do you want better performance, better comfort, longer lasting clothing, or something that's a little bit more disposable, which is what you get when you buy lower end shirting. 
And then with both the t-shirts and the underwear all made in the USA, which there's not a lot of undergarments out there that are, which is pretty cool. And so uh, just another bonus point on the fact, and one of the reasons you're also seeing premium prices is that they're all made here in the USA. So something else to support. So that is my look at the rib tea stuff. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer down below. Um, you know, maybe I can do a year later. This I opened these up in about August of last year. And so big fan so far and highly recommend it. So if you have any questions, happy to answer as always. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.